The book is called The Four Agreements. You can find it for free in PDF form or you can buy it uh, physically if you like having physical books. It's a very good story. I'm reading it for school, right? I'm almost done with it and I have to finish it eventually. Yeah, and it actually is more, um, what's the word? Spiritual. Uh, message me the name of that book because I might want to read that because that sounds interesting. That book sounds very interesting. I, I'd i read that probably. Um, actually, whisper me that name, okay? Uh, the name of the book and the author, please. Because this book is very spiritual. It tells you the four agreements. Because what happens is we're taught something. We're taught how to live life. But, the way we think is the downfall of society. Let me explain. There are four different agreements, right? Let me see if I can see the, um... Let me see. Do, 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 do. Be impeccable with your word is the first agreement. Yeah, it's a, it's very spiritual. In in fact, it starts very uh, spiritual. It's like um, it's telling you the dream of the planet, on like from the first page, but the first agreement is be impeccable with your word, which means be true, don't fake, don't be mean, basically, because you're astral projecting onto somebody your opinion. Yes. Say what you mean, mean what you say, exactly. Yeah, I used to be atheist, but then I was like, no, because I believe there is someone. But then I realized, you know what? And because recently I learned about the term agnostic and what it was. Ooh, I need to check that out. Hold on. I need to type these down. Okay. The God Delusion, right? Let me write these down because these actually f sound cool. The God Delusion. Right? Oh, fuck. The God Delusion. By Richard Dawkins. Okay, feel free to whisper me it. I will also type it in. Comic, the Cosmic Skeptic. Cosmic Skeptic. I'm not very religious at all. But I do have religious conversations with my family. But... Exactly! What you said... Okay, thank you, Tommy. And and Cosmic. Um I can give like my understanding. Oh, yeah. Do not take the book literally. Well, read the book, right? Do not take it too literally when you first read it. See it as just take it at face value. Because it is very confusing. It is it's very confusing uh, the story, the book, but I don't feel it is. And this is actually somebody like who actually is not. Don't take anything personally. Is the second agreement, meaning if somebody calls you a bitch, don't take it personally. If somebody if somebody just calls you ugly, don't take it personally. Just believe that they're projecting what they think about them onto you. Right? So, like, if you... If somebody came up to you that you didn't know... Or that you did know... And called you a skank-ass whore... Or something like that... Don't take that personally. They're just projecting, basically. You know what I mean? The third agreement... Don't make assumptions. That's... Yeah, exactly. The third agreement... Don't make assumptions. Basically... For a loving relationship, speak 
to them. For instance, for example, for a loving relationship, speak to them. Don't assume that they're going to get you something or that they did something or do something. If you think, if you think that, um, s hold on. If you think that somebody cheated on you and you have no evidence, do not assume that they did. If you expected somebody to come home with coffee for you, do not assume that they will. The fourth agreement, always do your best. No more, no less. If you do more, you'll fail. If you do less, you'll be distraught, frustrated, and just annoyed. You have to do that. You have to find an even middle ground just for you. Like, everybody has a different middle ground. The middle ground is the best place to start. And, or find. And if you find it, it. In my opinion, I think if I read this correctly as well, your your best will get better over time. And he even writes about um what you call it. He also writes about um oh what was I saying? I was saying oh it's your best da -da 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 -da. He also writes about something that I just forgot about. Yeah, so it's a really good read. There are some points that are very hard to understand. Like the first chapter, I understood it first time. That's not the first chapter, I don't think. Is that the first chapter? No, the second chapter, no, the first and second chapter, I think. I don't remember, but it's really, it's a really good book. It's, it does bring up religion a few times. Ah, that's what it was. We, we live in our own made up hell, right? That's what he said. He said, we all live in our own personal hell and just... If we can change the way we think, not everybody can do it, but some people can. If they change the way they do it, uh, th they view the world, there would have been no wars. Um, what is this? This is, um, yeah, it's a really good book. You can, if you look up uh, the Four Agreements PDF, or the Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz,